Over the course of two decades, I've conducted research on iconography and symbolism used by ancient cultures and civilizations. My travels have taken me around the world. I've located several symbols used in hieroglyphs, petroglyphs, pictographs, on artifacts and other objects that I believe represent portals or gateways to other places of existence. Whether that is by spiritual travel, entrance to other realities through fasting, altered states of mind, hallucinogenic narcotics, or a combination of the three, or a true physical body transfer to elsewhere, I don't have a definitive answer. The indigenous people I've interviewed state that these portals are doorways to other dimensions, some of which require nothing more than providing the proper frequency through sound, like drums being played while chanting to open them up. Others I've been told to require a key or device to be inserted along with the frequency shift and local energy source. These are some of those symbols. Were gateway or portal events occurring and being recorded in ancient times? Were objects, beings, or other devices traveling in and out of these X points? Dr. Bruce Cornett, who worked for the National Institute of Discovery Science, caught this portal event over Pine Bush, New York. It appears that a plasma event or other energy anomaly was occurring and somewhere else could be seen. Were these other planets, stars, or multicolored orbs? Were events such as these more common in the past? Were they just able to be seen more easily because of less light pollution and the fact that the sky was being watched more often than it is today? Were these events and those like it being recorded onto rock art and other artifacts? Or did the ancient people around the world know how to interact with different dimensions using gateways? Dry Fork Canyon, just outside of Vernal, Utah. We believe that the Fremont culture created the petroglyphs at this site. What you see here is possibly a portal glyph approximately 10 feet above what looks to be a doorway below it. Now that doorway is where portions of the rock wall fell away on its own and were partially cut out a long time ago. It has the physical appearance of a big doorway. This is rock art located at Swelter Shelter in Dinosaur National Monument. It too looks to show many different anthropomorphic figures exiting out of a potential portal feature. Some anthropomorphic figures are large in stature. Others appear oddly shaped, wearing what appear to be protective suits or clothing. One even looks similar to what we currently refer to as a gray, extraterrestrial that is. McKee Spring Petroglyph Site, again in Dinosaur National Monument, very close to Skinwalker Ranch. This is what I believe may be a gateway or portal symbol to those that created it. Several locations near here have this abstract carving. Per Zuni Elder Clifford Mahuti, some walls or recesses were meant to be walked into, others meant to be flown into by the star people. I believe Clifford would have labeled this one to fly into because it's higher up. What am I getting at? Specific locations were chosen by ancient people as portal sites. Whether you believe that to be symbolic or other, meaning an actual doorway or gateway to another space-time or interdimensional bridge is better left up to each of you. Whether you believe it's symbolic or can physically be created through some alteration in energy, again, I leave up to you. The point is the sites are real. They're all over the world and they were important to those living in the past. This is a portal from Mesoamerican culture. It's now located at the National Anthropology Museum in Mexico City. It originally sat on top of stone pillars and was considered a way to enter another realm. Where that is, I can only speculate since I was not there when it was being used. The Amaru Muru Stargate near Lake Titicaca, Peru. Look closely and there is one very large door, then down at the bottom a smaller door that has an indention in the very middle, small enough to insert something into, like a rock or other somewhat round artifact. Here's an enlarged view of the smaller of the two door-like recesses. Directly in the middle we have a somewhat circular indentation, quite possibly for a key of sorts, something to maybe activate the doorway. I personally believe this stone was recently created out of a strong magnetic rock, but there are still a couple of points to be made here about it. First, how it's carved is important. 
In discussing potential portal types, there's a potential possibility that matter is flipped or inverted during the transfer from one point to another, meaning things enter one way but exit backward, upside down, or reversed on the other side. Second, this size, stone, and shape almost fit perfectly into the hole in the center of the Amaramuru lower door. So maybe something copied what they saw. Native American oral tradition has discussed other worlds and the gateways to get there for thousands of years. What do they know that we have forgotten? Why must science be the only answer? Why are more and more scientists looking into the subject matter? Why is this no longer just an esoteric topic? It's becoming more and more mainstream. Consider the fact that many physicists are starting to believe that electron diffusion regions and plasma events have more to do with it than meets the scientific eye. Stay tuned as I plan on bringing out more of these mini presentations showing Native American connections to the paranormal and unexplainable phenomena. Please take a moment to subscribe to my channel. Until next time, thank you.